What's good? What's good? It's the one and only, but what do I know? Boxing coming back at y'all with another one, man. So we got Caleb Plant who actually responded to the post that I made about Jamal Charlo a few days ago going at uh, Gilly and Caleb or whatnot. Um, in his interview, his recent interview with, uh, with, with, with Brian Custer or whatnot, the last podcast, you know what I'm talking about. He responded, you know, if you guys remember, I'll play the clip with what, what Jamal Charlo said. Or actually, I'll just tell you what he said. He said when he fight Caleb, he going to beat the F out of Caleb and all that. And Caleb said, you know, when he see, uh, Caleb said, you just seen me the other night and had no words. Just look crazy. Just a crazy look and a heart that shook. So he was responding to what Jamal Charlo had to say. Um, also, when asked, was he surprised that there was no altercation between him and uh, Jamal at the Canelo fight? This is what Caleb Plant had to say. That there was, it wasn't a second confrontation then? Uh, no, not really surprised. I wasn't surprised. You know, he knows he made a mistake the first time and he learned from that mistake, so. But I was surprised that he hopped on Instagram Live afterwards, you know, talking about what he was going to do and, you know, stuff like that. Because, again, you know, he was five yards from me just two nights before that. So if he wanted to get his point across, he could have just told me. But he didn't want to tell me. He wanted to let y'all know. You know, he, he wanted everybody else to know. Because you, you heard it on the, um, the IG Live. Hey, guys, and yes. one more thing. And one right. more thing. I want to say one more thing before I go. Hey, guys, I want to make sure. Are you listening? I got something to say. <laughs> and when I fight Caleb Plant, I'm going to. So, but why are you letting everybody else know? You could have let me know. But he didn't want to let me know. Yeesh. You know what I'm starting to notice about Caleb Plant, man? And, and, and actually, even though he's not intending for this to be, he could act, He actually um has good marketing for his fights, bro. I mean, all of them, like, seriously, uh, since, you know, he, he had to run in with, with Canelo Alvarez, right? Let's think about this for a second. He had to run in with Canelo Alvarez, where Canelo Alvarez pushed him. He, uh, he swung on Canelo. They had that scuffle or whatnot. Um, to me, that, that's one of the big things that sold that fight. Uh, he had, a, he had, so he had that whole issue and every, everybody was, was sold on that. You know, everybody wanted to see it. They were sold on it. Um, his next, his very next fight against Anthony Durrell, uh, they had bad blood. I mean, they were going at each other. He still, that has to be Caleb Plant's favorite moment in his career because, which I can't knock him for that. Um, no pun intended, but because I mean, I, honestly, bro, the, that, that knockout was, was definitely a, a, a knockout of the year, um, you know, type of knockout. So I can't blame him for that. But they had back and forths where, you know, Anthony Durrell was telling Caleb Plant, I'll never lose to a white boy and a white boy never beat me. And Caleb Plant was, you know, going back at Anthony Durrell and they Anthony Durrell actually, um, ironically, on the the the, um, the Canelo Alvarez fight. It actually that's the first time I, I knew Anthony Durrell didn't like Caleb Plant because um, I, if I'm not mistaken, did Anthony Durrell fight? Either he had a fight uh, on the undercard of Canelo versus Caleb Plant, or I don't know why they were interviewing him, but I do. I remember at the press conference they were um, they were interviewing him, and he, and he was just like, "I just I hate that guy. I don't know. I just don't like that guy." He said he, he feel like Caleb Plant is not a friendly dude, and you know it's like you know it's one thing to to, to get into it with somebody uh, when you fight, but it's like if you ain't fighting, you know y'all could be cool. So I guess they had a run in, and he just didn't like the energy that Caleb Plant presented to him. So they had a whole back and forth. Uh, we saw what happened there. And then Caleb Plant, obviously the most infamous one was between Caleb Plant and uh, David Benavidez where that 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 run in was just um, on a whole nother level. Uh, they, they've been going at it since 2018 and uh, they finally fought this year. So um, they had that, that big rivalry. Caleb, so I'm starting to notice Caleb Plant and now, you know, you have this this rivalry with Jamal Charlo that has a um, a backstory to it. You know, obviously the infamous slap that Caleb Plant gave Jamal Charlo. So I'm just starting to notice that Caleb Plant, um, he has good marketing. And again, I don't think that it's any of his, like, I don't think he's planning it like, but I think that this is a good selling point for Caleb Plant, bro. And so, which is why I feel like they need to go ahead and make this fight. 
right? Um, Jamal Charlo, who we all know, is going up against uh, Jose Benavidez on the undercard of uh, Demetrius Andre versus David. Uh, David, I said, yeah, Demetrius Andre versus David Benavidez. So uh, expected to get past Jose, and um, should he get past Jose, I think they need to go ahead and make this fight. You know, I don't think that. Jamal Charlo. I don't even know what weight this fight is at. I'm, I'm assuming it's at middleweight, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was at super middleweight. But regardless, I mean, uh, should he get past him? I mean, the fight with Caleb Plant needs to be made. You know, I think Caleb Plant needs to go ahead and and, 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 um, and have a fight as well. Caleb Plant hasn't fought since April of this year, March. March, sorry, March of this year uh, when he fought David Benavidez. Now, um, the middleweight, super middleweight division is stacked. All right. Obviously, you got guys like uh, David Morrell, David Benavidez, Demetrius Andre, Canelo Alvarez. Um, you got Billy Ho Saunders returning. Um, you have um, you have Hami Magia. You have Edgar Belanga. You know, all these all these fights are great. Now, I feel like if you guys know Edgar Belanga, I, I don't feel like they'll ever try to fight Caleb Plant because Caleb Plant style is just a complete nightmare for Edgar Belanga. Edgar Belanga will be frustrated in that fight all night. And I just don't see him beating Caleb Plant at all, bro. Edgar Belanga, Belanga better still like that type of style that Caleb Plant, Plant presents. Edgar Belanga would be punching himself in the face, bro. How frustrated he'd get in that fight, bro. So we, I know for a fact that would never happen. Besides, and I'm speaking, not even speaking on the politics of boxing, but you know, you got um, uh, Hami Mangia. I, I mean, that Caleb Plant would be a, a his, Caleb Plant style would be a nightmare for Hami Mangia. I think Caleb Plant boxes circles around Hami Mangia and Edgar Belanga. But where the competition starts to pick up at is the guys like David Morrell. Uh, David Morrell, who's a very the, the Cuban Cuban fighter, very tough, hard hitting guy. Um, I think that him and Caleb Plant make for a very uh, intriguing matchup. Uh, I would I would probably give Caleb Plant the edge, seeing how I feel like Caleb Plant has the more experience. Actually, I would, ain't no probably to it. I I would give Caleb Plant the edge because I'm just now realizing, you know. Um, uh, David Morrell doesn't have that much that that much of an edge with ex as far as experience. You know, he's fought uh, a few guys. He's he actually fought a close friend of mine named Calvin Henderson, um, who I who I came up with in the amateurs or whatnot with. But uh, you know, he uh, he he uh, he hasn't really been in there with anybody to, with, with, with with anybody that has that much that big of a name or whatnot. So I would give Caleb Plant the edge in that. Obviously, you know. David Benavidez, Demetrius Andre. Uh, we saw what happened with David Benavidez and Caleb Plant. Um, I don't think, I don't really think think much would change if they had a rematch, bro. I really don't. David Benavidez is just a big dude. He's gonna be a problem for anybody at 168, bro. Uh, Demetrius Andre. That makes for a potentially either a high speed chess match or a very boring fight. Um, but I would be intrigued to, to I would be intrigued to see that. I, I honestly that to me, Caleb Plant versus Demetrius Andrade is about as 50-50 as it gets. Because though Demetrius Andrade has not fought, um though he has not been in there with the big names, some of it his fault, some of it not. Uh he still has the experience and he definitely has a, a difficult style for anybody. I, I think that's about that's that fight right there is, is a toss up fight in my opinion. Uh, it just really depends on who has the better game plan and who's better prepared. That's a cliche statement because it ain't that the kind of icebreaker for all fights, but in that fight in particular, um, and then ultimately you have the undisputed champion Canelo Alvarez, which you know. Um, well, we saw what happened there. I mean, now, I, I, you, you know what's crazy is I think Caleb Plant will have a better chance rematching Canelo uh, and, 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 and doing, doing better against Canelo than, than I think he would against uh, David Benavidez. Whereas, because Canelo, you know, his style walked him, you know, kind of, you know, walking Caleb Plant down and Caleb Plant gas now. Whereas David Benavidez, he's just, he's physically bigger. He's just a big dude, you know. But um, regardless, man, I, I can't wait to see uh, Caleb Plant back in the ring. Uh, definitely hope that we can get the Jamal Charlo fight maybe uh, sometime next year. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Who do you want to see Caleb Plant in there with next? 
But what do I know? 